Now, we've put the pistol down, and we aren't playing Russian roulette anymore, but our next guest says global markets will still struggle with the loss of a risk-free rate and possibly our status uh, as the reserve currency. Joining us now is Nick Cullis. Nick is the chief market strategist at BNY Convergex Group. So uh, you're saying there are still long-term uh, issues dealing with the debt debate that we've had and a, a possible up upcoming uh, downgrade. That's right. We've dodged the bullet, if you will, from this potential uh, disaster tomorrow. And that's great news. Markets are rallying, and that's very logical. But as you look forward for the next three six, three, six, and nine months and through the next election, this issue will come back again and again and again. And that's a, to some degree unhealthy for markets. They would have preferred, I think, to have this issue largely put to bed and just focus on economic fundamentals, corporate fundamentals, and other things that markets are better at focusing on. I want to bring you this quote from an HSBC chief saying, I don't see a way, in fact, for the ratings agencies to down grade to double A. So you do have a little bit of push and pull. Do we deserve it? Do we not deserve it? What should investors do, Nick, just in case? What's the best way to hedge here? Well, I think the basic assumption is to assume that we are going to get some kind of modest downgrade, but that it won't really have a meaningful impact on Treasury securities or on other capital markets in the U.S. Folks are expecting a downgrade. I think it's broadly baked into stocks, into bonds, into other assets. And so, so a you think people have already accepted it? Absolutely. You know, given the not only the caller that we've gotten from the last couple of weeks in terms of how we negotiate these things, but also the very slow economy in the U.S., you're seeing bond rates at fairly low levels, even though we've had, just recently had this problem. That signals that people are accustomed to thinking about a slower level of growth and an asset class that is still very certain. Double A AA and triple A are mutually Truly, almost indistinguishable. I, I know, but Nick, you have to admit, it, it's pretty freaky, right? I mean, S&P has had the U.S. at AAA since 1917. So if it happens, that's going to be since one forever, change right? in 100 years, <laughs> essentially. So it, psychologically, you don't think this would be a shock? I think that it would be a shock if it was not still dollar as a reserve currency. We still have a very deep, very broad capital market. And let's face it, there's not a lot of other places for investors to go. If you've got a huge chunk of money in the billions of dollars, there's very few capital markets can really absorb it, aside from the U.S. capital markets. All right, Nick, thanks so much for joining us. Nick Colas uh, there from Converge X, thanks so much.